a sexy red room master, open back, hop on, hop off, easy access, cocktail dressing. Those days skipping all the way from Adelaide to Acton via Camberwell Green, the Walworth Road, Elephant and Castle, Piccadilly Circus. Looking Hill Gate, Shepherds pushing all the way to Acton Green for 40p. Power. In those days, you could smoke in a top deck and a kidney would light your bag with a fan. During the war with Road 23, something like George and I, I woke up my mouth like a dead shit last fucking thing, in the blackness of a midnight depot. With systemic distension, I stumbled towards the only light. A suspicious night watchman with trembling digits points the way to distant minicab henge. He's a man of few words, and I am worthy of only three. Where the fuck am I, I say? You're in pain, she says. You're in pain. You're in pain, ow! Pain, yeah, 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 yeah! You're in pain. And now here we we'll go a South London guitar solo. Comments, as you can see, lots of comments in there. Over here, we have some John Bellies. <laughs> if you lift up any of these lids, as you can see, there's all kinds of information. Pen. 
just cycles on to the next one. I love this as a bite. It's really clever. It's so simple, isn't it? And this tree was once a tree that lived in the bottom of John's garden. Doesn't exist anymore. And they cut it down in their wisdom. They used to pull out it every year, every few years like that. It used to grow back, almost to the same extent within a couple of years. And then finally, the um, insurance company said it was causing a crap. It took down this magnificent 300 year old tree. And all of the words have been carved out. Looks like it's been pulled out and carved. Which I think is cool. I'm sure. And out of that entire piece there, I think I can make this bit here. This is obviously a sticker block. This is obviously blue and um, sweets kind of like in there. It's just sweeties. It's like a lot of the, your work has just got this kind of sweet shop quality. Um, I don't know, is my sting now? Oh, it might be. Is it? There's always the possibility it could be a sting. Which one? Should you were talking about the, in the in the process, the monoprint process. You make hundreds, change mm -hmm. it slightly, and, and then you get one that you, you know when it comes out that it's an image that kind of just says everything. And it has it has a really particular thing here, which is like this plane has obviously been launched from the diving board. <laughs> you know? All these things kind of like subliminally <laughs> add up to what makes that image so so fantastic. It's got kind of like got a sort of swirly action thing happening here, and I think on in the in the book where we where we it in the book, it has a little, little caption, it just says leaving. That might be a different one, doesn't it? There's a, there's, I mean, there's different versions There's that. different versions. Yeah. Yeah. That one's... The, and we've got more. There's more. There's, there's more. If you thought it was time to switch off, no, there's more. For example, there's this thing here. What's happening here? This is John. This is the guitarist. What's his name again? Um, Ian McCune. This is Ian McCune. That's... Admiral Lord Biscuit. Admiral Lord Biscuit. As you can see, they're in the middle of kind of a performance, which is going to be taking place all next year, 2013, mm. when Burns and the Aft hit the road. They weren't just a for example, they were just made as a handmade um, You basically just scan them and print them out as invites. I like doing things by hand. Andy and I both like doing things by hand. We both rather do things by hand than any other way, wouldn't we? I think so. Yeah, I think that's. Um, we have that in common, um, and um, we even make our clothes sometimes, which leads us on to these handmade clothes here, which are by Kathy, who's holding the camera. And if I just take the camera, this is Kathy. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> that's Lisa there, and she's filming as well. <laughs> but these are Kathy's clothes, and that's Kathy. <laughs> and um, the other day we had an argument with a punter in the exhibition. The lady in red. Lady in red. But I will explain again what these are, what the reason for these being in here, because this exhibition is actually more about our lives um, than our work. And um, these are some of the clothes that we have worn um, being, being um, reproduced on other clothes by, by Kathy. So it's kind of related. And um, here is a photograph of my daughter wearing that, I think, or another one that's very similar. I think it might even be that one. That one. Um, and the work is the work that, that certainly the work that I do, and I think we, we, we true to say it, Andy's as well, our work is actually about our lives. It's, it's actually about our lives, it's not about other things, it's, it's specifically about our lives. This is our lives, this piece here is our lives being extended away from our lives as artists. It's really nice to get that, but um, it's tough. <laughs> Say that again. Some people don't 
seem to get that. It's tough. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> you know, that this isn't. I mean, somebody was saying to me today, actually, when we were looking at this thing, oh, it was, there was a guy here today, we kept saying to Kathy, is it, what is it? Is it cartoons? What is it? Because they were saying, what, what, what is what? Yeah. But what, what is it? But, it's, but it is just our life, isn't it? Kind of, it's just our life, somehow, kind of recording. The best way to answer those kind of questions is to ask them the question. Throw it back at them. That's what I always do. It's what is the universe? Anyway, come in here. Come in here. Because this is, this is the veritable corner you Cupia, is that how you pronounce that word? Cornucopia. Um, as mentioned by the famous art critic, um, David Dunn in his uh, Irish Times Review, which is where he's um, minor celebrity. But not in Kilmore, he, by all accounts. And this is, um, this is a fantastic block of Andy Hagarian paintings, one on the wall, and then um, books, or boots, as he calls them. Where these, these are Andy's precious books that he doesn't have copies of anymore. Yeah. And, uh, I'm surprised they didn't blow out the window. Thank you, Alex. No, no thank, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you.